Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install almost enough items in Minecraft 1.13. Now, almost enough items is very similar to just enough items or too many items that you've heard of in the past, except it's based on a brand new mod launcher for 1.13 that's already out. So, overall, it's an awesome mod, but first, be sure to check out our sponsors, which is Game Servers. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash mc server, to get an awesome 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for just $1 per month. We personally use Game Servers in absolutely love them. Again, you can check them out at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash MC server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get almost enough items installed. So the first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here, which is the almost enough items curse forge information page, right? And as new versions come out, he's going to add in more features here, and he's very active in the comments and replying to people. This is an actively developed mod, which is what I like to see. Once you're here, you just want to click on the big green down Download button in the top right. That's going to download the latest version of the mod. Say you're getting this in the future and 1.13.20 is out or something and you want the 1.13 version, you'll just click on files here and uh, find the version you want for the version of Minecraft that you want. But for right now, we want the latest one. So let's go ahead and click keep right down here. This is a safe file, guys. It has been downloaded by over 5,000 people, which is pretty good for a mod that came out on August 5th of this year. So I know it's safe and uh, we can keep it. So we're not done yet though. We also need to download the Rift Mod Loader. And if you go to the third link down below, it'll take you here, which is the Rift Mod Loader API and talking about everything and what it is. Basically, it's similar to Forge. It's a bit more lightweight and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been downloaded 16,000 times, and we want to just click the big green download button in the top right here as well, because we want the latest version. Just like with almost enough items, if you want a previous version, you can click on files here and get the previous versions here, but we want the uh, the most recent one there. Nevertheless, we can keep this file in the bottom left. Again, downloaded by over 15,000 people. It is safe, and we can minimize our browser. Now, on our desktop here, we have two things that we've downloaded. We have almost enough items, and we have Rift. Now, if you don't have these on your desktop, don't freak out. Just hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time, and this time you want to type in Downloads, right like that, and hit Enter. It'll open up your Downloads folder here. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, you want to start off with Rift here. So go ahead, right-click on it, go to Open with Java TM platform SC binary. It'll then open up this thing. Rift for Minecraft has been successfully installed. Awesome stuff there. Go ahead and click OK. Now, the thing is, if you don't have the open with right here, if you don't have the open with Java, no problem. All you need to do is go to the fourth link down below and it will take you right here. This is our Java download page where you can get the most recent version of Java 8, which is what is recommended for Minecraft here. So you can come here, click that, to download the Java actually JDK, which will download Java with it. You need the Java JDK to be able to open with. Now, if you're still having problems opening up the uh, the Rift file there, all you need to do is run the jar fix, which is the fifth link down below. Come here and scroll down. Make sure you hit right down here under download author's website, this little blue jar.exe link there. You don't want to click the big blue download button. You want to click the little blue download link, download that, run it, and you'll be good to go. That'll fix you right up. But nevertheless, we've got Rift installed now. Let's go ahead and get almost enough items installed. This is really easy. Hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. The Windows key, by the way, is located between the left control and the left alt right next to your space bar on your keyboard. So great stuff there. Click that and R at the same time, and it will open up again the run program here. We then want to type in percent %appdata% percent, percent app data percent exactly like that and hit enter. It'll open up this where we should have a .minecraft folder. Double click on that and then in here you should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? Well, if you don't have a mods folder, guess what? That's okay. Don't freak out. All you've got to do is right click, create a new folder and title it mods. All lowercase, exactly like that. M-O-D-S, all lowercase. And then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Then go ahead and drag and drop all no, almost enough items into your mods folder there. And now all we need to do is open up the Minecraft launcher. Once we are in the Minecraft launcher here, what we want to do is find Rift. Now, I would recommend going over here to launch options. And you may have this Rift profile here. If you don't, no worries, just add a new profile. I'm going to name mine play.breakdowncraft.com. 
Minecraft.com. Why would I do that? Oh, that's because that's our 1.13 Minecraft server running all 1.13. Awesome survival, awesome kit PvP and stuff like that coming in the future. So go check that out. Uh, it's been in the corner of the screen the entire time. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Great server. But nonetheless, for our version, let's go ahead and select Rift. So we're going to be able to see it here. Release 1.13 Rift right there. Click on that, and then I'm going to change my resolution real quick. You don't have to change your resolution if you don't want to, but I'm just doing that so you guys can see later. Then go ahead and click Save. Now, if we come back over here to News, we should have a profile, if we click the little green arrow here, called play.breakdowncraft.com. Right there it is, and as you can see, it is for 1.13-rift. Click that, should again say 1.13-rift, and click Play. And now download some things and do some stuff, but it will open up Minecraft 1.13 with Rift installed. So, uh, boom, there it is, 1.13 looking nice and good. So I'm going to actually do something a little bit different here. I'm going to go ahead and zoom Minecraft in for you guys so you can see what I'm doing better. And there we go. Just like that, we now have a Minecraft zoomed in. So once we're in Minecraft here, it's very easy to see if this is in fact working. Go ahead and open up just any single player world. This will work on bucket servers and things like that as well, even though you could get banned for it. So that is a warning. However, once we're in game here, if we just hit E, there it is. There is almost enough items. Now, there's this cheat button up here in the top left. As you can see, it's got a line through it. It's red. If that's the case, you're not in cheat mode. So what you can do is we can click on the detector rail here and we can see that in fact it does, you know, require an iron ingot and a pressure plate and all that stuff to be able to craft a uh, detector rail. So that is really cool there. However, if we go ahead and turn cheat on, hit escape, hit E again to go in our inventory. This time, if we click on detector rail, it'll just give it to us, right? Because that cheat is activated. So if you don't want to be able to easily spawn stuff in, just click on that cheat button there. And when it's red, you'll be able to see what is used to uh, to craft things and things like that. Now, obviously, if the block itself is what you craft it with, like a birch log, it's not going to work. However, birch planks, we can see how you can get those there. And that's by taking birch wood or a birch log or any of that and uh, breaking it down here into birch planks. So pretty easy stuff there. That is, uh, that's this mod. You know, I've been trying to give more, you know, insights into mods once they're installed, but that's, that's it. That's the mod. You can search down here in the bottom right. So let's say we wanted to look for, I don't know, a minecart. Right there it is. You know, we can see minecart there. We've been able to search that. What if we wanted, you know, spawn eggs? You can't make these, obviously. So there's nothing you can click on them, but you could cheat in a spawn egg if you wanted to. Let's see, go ahead and cheat in just like a bunch of bats. For example, you know, we could do that to spawn in a bunch of bats. It's kind of creepy, but nevertheless, that is almost enough items. If you have any questions, please go ahead and consider posting those in the comment section down below. And don't even consider doing it, just do it. I read every single comment the channel gets and reply to everybody. So, uh, yeah, you've got that going for you. Be sure to uh, post your comment down below so I can help you out. Nevertheless, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more awesome mod how-to tutorials with showcases and things like that. More awesome videos are on the way. We're also, you know, we've got our server. I've got a ton of awesome videos coming up over there. So, um, yeah, pretty much like and subscribe. You won't regret it. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown Tech, and I am out, guys. Peace.